Welcome back fans of all things Disney and welcome to day 10 of Vlogmas. For those of you that follow the channel, you know that I have been away for a few days. I treated my family, my husband and I treated our family to an early Christmas present. We took them on a Royal Caribbean cruise for four days and it was really fantastic. It was the kind of thing that was like a once in a lifetime memory. Uh, we loved every minute of it, but it was kind of hurried and rushed to get all these Vlogmas videos posted so that you would have one every single day as I had promised that I would do. But now I am back and go ahead and I can record them as the days are coming along, maybe with a little bit of pre-recording, but not too terribly much. And I stopped at my P.O. box after work today and I was so pleasantly surprised to have a few different cards in there. I'm going to hold a couple of them back so that I can open at least one card for each day of Vlogmas as I had originally wanted to do now that I'm kind of back into the swing of it. But if you are new to the channel, there are a couple of things we're gonna to try to do every single day of Vlogmas. Uh, two different advent calendars, both of which have pretty awesome pins in them, and we'll start with those. And then at the very end of the video, I'll open any of the Christmas cards that I do have come in. Like I said today, I'll probably only open maybe one or two different Christmas cards because I would like to be able to have some each and every day. If you would like to participate in the Christmas card exchange, the P.O. Box information is in the description box below. If you send me a Christmas card, I will absolutely send one to you and to your family as well well. So if you'd like to participate in that way, you are more than welcome to do it. And then also today I do have my holiday pin board. I don't have a lot of Christmas pins. As of yet, I'm getting a lot more as the days roll on and I'm doing my pin advent calendar, but it is still, it's a work in progress and I'm pretty pleased with that. I'll keep adding to it as I find additional pins over this holiday season. But let's just go ahead and we will jump in to the first pin advent calendar and that is the one that is put out directly from Disney. All right, so this is our Disney advent calendar. We are on day 10. You can see that we've already finished the Fab Five window. And then we are working on the Winnie the Pooh window. And like I said, as I was putting those up, I really have no idea if they're in the right place. I probably won't know until all the pieces are out, but I will open the drawer for day 10 and let's see what we have. Considering that everything so far has been kind of rolling in order, I would imagine that it's going to be a Winnie the Pooh pen, but let's take a look here. Let's see, I'll let you see it first as always. So you can take a look at that. Hopefully it is part of the Winnie the Pooh and it is. Oh my gosh, that is just too cute. That is little Eeyore looking up at the tree. Absolutely adorable. Now let's take a look at this. We're gonna pop the um, backing off and I'm gonna tuck that right in the drawer where I have all of the others so that I don't lose it. Yeah, so I definitely put these in the wrong place because here's Eeyore and you can see Pooh's feet there. So this would be the bottom one. So let's do this. I'm just gonna do a little bit of arranging. Tree's gonna be in the center, I would imagine. So I'll do just a little rearranging here and see how that looks. Oh, I'm making Pooh very tall because of the way I've spaced these out. And we'll put I don't know that that makes sense either, but for right now, that's how we're gonna do it. Okay, so for right now, that's what we have. We have Winnie the Pooh, Eeyore, Rabbit, and of course, Kanga. So, very, very cute. I'm feeling like I need to move something. I'm not entirely sure what, but we will figure that out when we get into our next couple of drawers. But for now, let's tuck the drawer 10 back in and we'll go on to our next advent calendar. That one, I'm really enjoying this one from directly from Disney. They are such adorable pins. And like I said, I didn't really have a ton of Christmas pins. Now I'm gonna have quite a few more. So this next advent calendar is one that I just kind of put together myself. We started off with some holiday pins that I found, um, but then I went into just some mystery pack pins. I didn't really find any Christmassy pins and mystery packs this year that I loved except for those hot chocolate pin sets and I cannot find those anywhere. They are sold completely out everywhere that I looked. How 
However, um, I did have a couple of pin sets that just kind of spoke to me as a Christmassy present. So, and the one that I did pull today is a handbag pin. I'll show you that there. Handbags are of course a very popular item for the holidays. And that just is really cute. That Snow White handbag pin, so cute. And at the outlets, they did have a lot of these um, handbag ornaments not too very long ago. I didn't end up with any. I think I have a Minnie Mouse one. I don't think I kept any of the others for myself, even though I do think that they are cute. I do have to limit a little bit from time to time. But the little Snow White handbag pin is the one that I pulled from my own kind of makeshift uh, advent calendar today. Very cute, I love that pin. All right, so now we have um, the Christmassy pin board that I put together, and it's not terribly extensive, but we have to get the full effect, so let's turn our lights on. Oh, that's gonna be terribly bright. I'm gonna turn those off once you get a chance to see it. So this is all that I really have so far for my pin board, but um, if you follow the channel, you know that I really, really love garland and I absolutely love lights, but that is kind of obnoxious with the glare. So I will turn that right off and I will just kind of walk you through my pin board. All right, so we'll just start in the upper corner here. This is Baymax. And if you do follow the channel, you know that Baymax is one of my all time favorite characters. Here we have him kind of decorating using the different lights. He's all caught up in the different strands. I also had a couple of frozen Zoom Zoom pins that I just thought were kind of cute and they were very fitting for the holiday season. One of the ugly sweater pins that I did trade for with a cast member in the park. I don't really have any of the other ugly sweaters, but that one I really liked. And then this year I did purchase um, one of the new sets and it had to do with different Disney treats and you'll see the other pin that went in that. That is a two pin set and I just really liked this because it's very subtly Disney. You have your gingerbread house with that very subtle detail of the Mickey there at the top. And then we'll kind of come back over here to show you what the center of the board looks like, but I'll focus in first on the two little nutcrackers. These are pins that I opened in my makeshift advent calendar. The first one is a stitch pin, and he is by far my favorite of the two. I could only find the one mystery box of pins, um, and I was so pleased to end up with that stitch nutcracker, but I also have a goofy nutcracker, which is just awesome. Up here kind of towards the top, it seemed kind of fitting to have Mickey Mouse with the star. This came from the Disney store itself. Then I did get this, I wanna say it was last year, um, right directly from the Disney store. And that is just such an adorable pin. I love that right there in the center of the pin board. Then I have my gingerbread windows or my, yes, my bakery windows, I guess. This one is the boardwalk gingerbread window and when you open that you have Mickey Mouse on the boardwalk serving all the holiday treats just too cute and then from my friend Debbie out in California she sent me one from the Grand Californian and you have Chippendale with a monster snowball fight going on there and a Mickey Mouse snowman in the background too cute then this is the set of the hot cocoa pins that went with the Disney gift cards. I was able to purchase uh, $400 in gift cards, $100 for each. And what they did is they attached one of these limited edition pins to each of those cards and it was kind of a free item. And I'm all about anything that's free, plus these are just too stinking cute. So I was very glad to be able to add those to my holiday pin board, just adorable, love those. Then we do have a few other pins that I've either traded for or gotten out of mystery boxes. This is one that I've traded for and that is a gingerbread Mickey. And then I have a few of the Mickey's Christmas Carol ones. You have, I believe this is the Ghost of Christmas Future, if I'm not mistaken. And then you have, or maybe past, I can't remember. And then you have Marley here, as well as that looks like um, Cratchit. And then of course you have the Donald Duck figure, and I cannot remember who Donald Duck played in the film version. Our little Mickey Mouse snowman, just too adorable. And then they did just put these out. These are cast member pins. You can tell by that little hidden Mickey there, that little silver Mickey. 
And this was a Chippendale gift that's all kind of wrapped up. It's the only one that I was able to find, but it certainly reminded me of the holidays. And then the last one that I have on the pin board is the I Love Holiday Treats. And you have little Mickey Mouse gingerbread men and lots of little Mickey uh, icons there on the pin. So my so far holiday pin board, again, it is a work in progress, but hopefully you enjoyed kind of walking through that with me. I will be adding to this, like I said, as the season goes along. So hopefully you enjoyed my little walk around my Disney Christmas pin board. It is definitely a work in progress, but hopefully you did enjoy it. Now, before I go much further, I do have a few things to open because like I said, there were cards and I also have a gift from one of uh, my subscribers and customers with the personal shopping business. But before I jump into any of that, I did just want to remind everybody that we do a giveaway this uh on this channel every single month and the giveaway is a box of mystery goodies so in tomorrow's video i am going to announce the winner from the november drawing but we want to get you entered into our december drawing which means you need to hit subscribe and then comment on any videos that we upload over the course of the month. As long as you are a subscriber, existing subscribers get one entry every single month as our thanks. New subscribers get three entries into the drawing and then you get additional entries for every comment that you put on any videos that we upload over the course of the month. So you definitely wanna go ahead and hit subscribe this month with as many videos as I'm uploading thanks to Vlogmas. And then of course, Hanukkah Vlog is gonna kick in when Hanukkah kicks in. So. Um, this might be the month for you to definitely hit subscribe so you can get those extra entries. So now I have some goodies to open and I'm so excited. Um, the first one that I'm going to share with you is actually one that didn't come to me in the mail. This is from a customer with the personal shopping business. If, if you are ever looking for a personal shopper, Mickey's Magical Delivery is the name of the YouTube channel, but it is also the name of my Facebook page. And I will go to the character warehouse and I will do some personal shopping for people. All of the information on that is located both on this page as well as the Facebook page. So I won't bore you with all those details, but if you ever do need something, you are welcome to reach out to me. And this card came from one of my outstanding international customers. It was such a pleasure working with her. She just had come over from Ireland and she uh, was staying at the resort with her family and she brought me a beautiful Christmas card as well as an amazing box of chocolate. So I thought that I would share that with you all. This says Christmas greetings from Ireland. And not only is it from Ireland, but look at that beautiful puppy in there. Reminds me of my uh, dog, Morgan, who again, we lost not too long ago, but just kind of the perfect Christmas card. I'm loving, I'm just loving the look of this. And then inside it says, thinking of you at this special time of year. And it says, of course, to Melissa and family, best wishes for Christmas. Angela and thank you so much Angela this meant the world I do not have your home address to send you a Christmas card but hopefully you will see this and you will um, know that I am wishing you the absolute best most merry of Christmases that you can possibly have and thank you for this pretty awesome box of chocolates I have been very good about not opening them uh, we do have a holiday party that is coming up, but you can see some of those uh, different treats that are in there. And oh my goodness, so these are Butler's, Butler's Artisan Collection chocolates, and these are going to get broken out for the holiday party for sure. I'm looking very forward to digging into those. So thank you again, Angela. Um, thank you for letting me do your shopping, but then of course for my lovely Christmas card and the gift. It was, it was really quite appreciated, so thank you so much. Um, next I do have, I have a card from uh, Desiree in California and let's see here, we've got some cute little stickers on here, both Disney related and um, cat related. I can show you this one because there are no addresses there, so isn't it cute? And then there's a really cute Pluto um, sticker on the front, but all the like the address is there and everything, her address and my address. And so we'll just not show that one, but let's take a look here and see what this card says. Oh, that is a gorgeous card. That's so pretty. Look at that little chickadee with the glitter. So beautiful. 
All right, let's see here. This says, Melissa and family, all comfy, all cozy, all merry and bright. Hope every little moment of your Christmas is happy. Wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and a super duper happy new year. God bless your supporter and customer, Desiree. And how true that is. You are a fantastic subscriber and a wonderful, wonderful customer. And I greatly appreciate that, Desiree. So thank you so much for thinking of me. And my card to you will be in the mail in the next couple of days. I'm actually gonna sit down tonight and make sure that all of my cards have been sent out for those that I have received thus far. Thank you so much for thinking of me and for sending me a Christmas card. That is beautiful. Thank you. Uh, next one, I actually have two packages here. I'm going to save the big box for last, but I do have one here. This is from Carrie in Hawaii, so I'm very excited to check this one out. Let's see here. Yes, from Hawaii. wanted to just double check my abbreviation. Okay. Let's see. Oh, there might be a holiday pin in here because it's all wrapped up. And when I started this, um, what I had said to everybody is if you were going to send any kind of a pin for the advent calendar um, to just make sure that it is wrapped up and I would um, keep it all wrapped up until it's time. So this pin is wrapped up. I've already done the pin for the advent calendar for today. So what I'm going to do, Carrie, is I'm going to put this in the next pouch in my advent calendar. So this will be the one that we open on tomorrow's Vlogmas, courtesy of Carrie all the way from Hawaii. So we'll see what we have in this, but we'll open this one tomorrow. Thank you so much, Carrie, for thinking of me. I'm so excited to dig into this. I can't, you know, I've got to stop. I found myself like a kid trying to feel around to see if I could figure out what it was. I'm just going to stop and I will open it tomorrow. As promised, I will, I will be good. I promise I will hold off. So Carrie, thank you again so much for thinking of me and for sending um, a pin to help participate in the advent calendar. I greatly appreciate that. Oh my gosh. So now we are down to just one last box, one last item. And this one, look at what my uh, friend and customer had done. So she covered this with different stickers. I almost hate to cut into the box because it is just too cute. But this is coming to me from Jill in Kentucky. So let's take a look and see. Oh, goodness. My goodness. It's definitely secure. Okay, let's see here. Okay, also if you're new to the channel, I, um, I end up cutting myself on nearly every paper product that you can possibly imagine. So I'm good, I'm good, I made it through it. But, all right, so this is the Christmas card. It was right on top. Oh, that is so cute. It says Merry Christmas and it has Santa Claus on there. Such a cute card. And this says, Happy Ho Ho Holidays to someone who puts the Merry in Christmas from your Disney shopper friend, Jill. And how true that is. Jill and I, um, we work together quite often on trying to make sure that the exact items are picked up for her and she is wonderful and it's been months that I've gotten to know Jill and I'm so grateful, Jill, for having you in my life and thank you for thinking of me and sending me this beautiful card. Uh, it says, pray you and your family have a blessed Christmas holiday. Thank you, and same to you, Jill, for you and your family. Uh, we really do wish you the absolute most merry of Christmases you possibly can have. So thank you so much for my card. And it looks like, all right, Jill, it looks like you're doing, you're using my trick. We have packing confetti in here. So I'm going to carefully remove this. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of goodies in here. There is a lot in here okay so okay first thing <gasps> oh i love this all right so this is baymax this is a baymax pin this is from i think that's lounge fly yeah a baymax lounge fly pin and that's thick cat mochi i believe 
so cute. She knows how much I love Baymax, and I really do. I love anything that has to do with Baymax. For some reason, this character is just, I, I adore this character. So, oh my gosh, that is so cute, Jill. I love it. I really do love it. So adorable. All right, let's see. We've got something that's wrapped up in like breakable pro protective paper. Oh no. Oh, this is an ornament. It's a sketchbook ornament. I think we've got a theme going here. Jill, what did you do? Okay. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, I love this, Jill. That is perfect. That is so funny. Now, Jill, I know that you watched all of my ornament videos, so you know that I have this one. However, I don't have one of him at school. So now this little buddy is gonna get to go with me to school and he will hang on the Christmas tree that I put up in my classroom because I do have one on my Christmas tree at the house. Oh my gosh. Jill, this is gorgeous. Thank you so much. Thank you for thinking of me. That is perfect. Not only did I have the pin, but I had already gotten the ornament because it kind of speaks to me and you knew exactly what would speak to me. So just the thought of this is precious. Thank you so much. And he will be on my Christmas tree in my classroom tomorrow. So thank you so, so much. I love him. He is perfect. Perfect, perfect choice. All right, so now, oh my, we have, it looks like a gift bag of a variety of chocolates. And let's be honest, you can never go wrong with anything that's chocolate. So perfect, look at that. Boy, I'm gonna have a ton of chocolate to explore at this holiday party. I love the um, decorative packaging also with it being the autumn season. This is so cute, I love this. So cute. Oh my goodness. And the box is not done yet because there is still more. There is still more. Okay. One last thing. I think it's one last. Nope, not one last thing. There was something hiding in the confetti. So I have a box of old Kentucky Himalayan pink sea salt potato chips. That just sounds delicious. Look at those. So these are not going to wait until the holiday party. These are going to be opened as soon as I'm done with dinner because that just sounds amazing and tempting and awesome. So that's definitely going to happen. Oh my gosh. Old Kentucky Himalayan sea salt potato chips. Very cool. Who would ever have thought to do something like that? And they're from Kentucky, which is where Jill is from. So that's Perfect. It'll give me a little taste of where she's from and it's chocolate and it's awesomeness all put together. So that is outstanding. Thank you so, so much, Jill. Oh my gosh. And then <laughs> this is a Baymax button and it says, would you like a hug? And that I have to tell you right now is perfect for me. Not because it's Baymax, not just because it's Baymax, but, um, I'm gonna put this on my lanyard at school because oftentimes I will, I'm a hugger, right? I'm, I'm a hugger. So kids know if you need a hug, you go to Miss Hosky, she'll give you a hug. Um, and I will often say, honey, do you need a hug? And this, <laughs> perfect. It's absolutely perfect. So I will put this on my lanyard and then I will, I'm sure have some kids say, yes, I would like a hug, Mrs. Hosky. So that is, absolutely perfect and she didn't know that so she just knows me well enough to know that that would be fantastic and exactly something that I would love so Jill thank you so much I am stunned I'm blown away by the number of uh, gifts that you sent me it's been such a joy getting to work with you that um, these are just they're they're fantastic but even just getting to know you is gift enough and, and present enough to have you in my life so thank you for that um, and I'm definitely gonna dig into those potato chips as soon as kind of we're done with this. So 
Thank you, thank you to everybody that sent me cards and pins. Um, I've really enjoyed the opening of the Christmas cards th during the Vlogmas series because it's just, it's so nice to have that personal connection. So thank you for thinking of me. Again, if you would like to participate in the Christmas card exchange, the PO box information is in the description box below. Hopefully you are enjoying the Vlogmas series. Please make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that we can get you entered into our drawing. And then I don't even know what we'll do for tomorrow's video, but I know I'm gonna have some more cards and we're gonna have our winner of our November giveaway. But please make sure that you come back for Vlogmas for day number 11. So until then, bye-bye.